friends, this is Sadil Chaudhary and welcome to my channel, The Battle Bond Sadil. Today is the fifth episode of the series, The ABC of Bodybuilding. And today I am going to discuss regarding a very important topic. That is bodybuilding and aerobic endurance. So, I think you all will like this video and you will get a very good information regarding this topic. So, let's start. Bodybuilding and aerobic endurance. So, friends, there are basically two different kinds of endurance. That is muscular and cardiovascular. And you all will think, what is muscular endurance? So, now let me explain. Muscular endurance is the ability of muscle to contract over and over during exercise and to recruit the maximum number of fiber to perform the exercise. Say for example, while doing heavy squats, you fatigue your muscle fiber in the leg so quickly that if you want to get through an entire set of your muscle fiber that recuperate quickly and you need to be very able to bring additional fibers into the play during the course of the set. And now cardiovascular endurance is the ability of the heart, lungs and the circulatory system to deliver oxygen into the muscle to fuel further exercise and to carry the waste products that is lactic acid. While these two aspects of endurance are distinct, they are also connected. What good is having a well developed cardiovascular capacity if the muscle you are using in some effort can keep up the pace and give out? And how well you can perform if your muscle have tremendous endurance ability but your circulatory system can't de deliver the enough oxygen that they need. Just about everyone understands that you increase cardiovascular capacity by doing high volume of exercises that makes you breathe hard, causes your heart to race and that you can keep up for long periods of time and when you do this you will increase the ability of the lungs to take oxygen from air and to transfer it to the bloodstream. You will increase the capacity of your heart to pump large volume of blood through the circulatory system and to the muscles and you will increase the capacity of cardiovascular system to flush the lactic acid which cause the feeling of burning in the muscle during intense exercise out of the muscle. You increase muscular endurance by performing a relatively high volume and muscular contraction. And when you do this, you will increase the size and number of capillaries to the specific muscles being exercised. And you may increase the ability of the muscle to store glycogen that is carbohydrate which is needed to create energy for muscular contractions. You increase the mass of the muscle that is mitochondria, the energy factories that create substance like ADP which is known as adenosine triphosphate out of glycogen which are used to fuel muscular contraction. And you will increase the development of the type of muscle fiber mostly involved in endurance exercise. As a reminder, there are two basic types of muscle fiber as well as a lot of intermediate in between muscle fiber types. Number one, white or fast twitch muscle fiber is non-aerobic power fiber that contracts very hard for short period and but has little endurance and relatively long recovery period. And number two is red which is known as slow twitch muscle fiber and is 20% smaller than and not as powerful as the white fiber which is fast twitch fiber but is aerobic and can continue to contract for long period as long as sufficient oxygen is available. Because bodybuilding training relies on a higher volume that is sets and repetition of effort than say weightlifting it has some cardiovascular benefit and also leads to increase in muscular endurance bodybuilder tends to train at a pace 
which is just below the threshold of cardiovascular failure. That is, they train as fast as they can without overwhelming the ability of the body to provide oxygen to the muscle. It doesn't make them good at cardiovascular or endurance activity such as running or riding a bicycle but keep them in pretty good cardiovascular shape when it comes to those other type of activities and you are dealing with both specificity of training and specificity of physical adaptation you have to train on a bicycle to be a good on one and you have to work at running to improve your ability as a runner however well trained a bodybuilder usually be in a good enough shape to do well at these kind of exercises and to show considerable improvement very rapidly providing his shape and body weight are not too much of a negative factor i have always believed that cardiovascular endurance is the most important to a bodybuilder as muscular endurance heart training results in a building of lactic acid in the muscle being used a waste product of the process that produces the energy of muscular contraction if the heart lungs and the circulatory system have been able to provide enough oxygen to the area the lactic acid will be reprocessed by the body into a new source of energy if not the build up will eventually prevent the further contraction leading to total muscular failure some bodybuilders however find that running does not suit then or causes them to have problems with their legs and ankles so they seek other way of developing cardiovascular conditioning uh, while they use static cycle, treadmill, elliptical and any other type of aerobic equipments. The fact is the better condition your heart, lungs and circulatory system, the more intense training you will be able to do in the gym and the more progress you will make as a bodybuilder. So friends, hope you all like this video and if you like this video, Please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification and in my coming episode I will discuss more new topic regarding the ABC of bodybuilding and remember this topic which I am discussing is very much essential for each and every people those who want to do exercises or exercising right now and people who want to go into their bodybuilding career. So, Till now, have a great day, have a safe life, stay healthy, think positive, eat a good healthy food and goodbye.